Uh, basically, they don't know yet. Oh. They don't know yet. Ooh. We are announcing the marathon and. Um, Upward. We did it. Good little run. I'll get you the stats here in a second. Back in the studio, enjoying a little uh, leftover lunch from date night last night. And let's see, we're going to dive into some projects. And I, yes, I am going to announce the spring 2020 marathon today. My final decision, it's made. Uh, today's run, four miles, 8.15 a mile. Even though it was a very simple run, a baby run, uh, I know the, the uh, you know, no drone shots, no mountain shots yet. It's coming soon. Uh, but I'm trying to reintroduce the filming and the running into the daily vlog. Um, and I can't film every single run that I go on. But again, that is one of my goals is to keep you informed on topics in the running world with marathon training, especially right now, and entertain because our time is precious. Moving on here to a package real quick before we start some projects. And this is from, hold on, Chris. Oh, shout out to Chris. Thank you, Chris. This is definitely not a shoe box. Hold on. Let me get the knife. Well, well taped. Hold on. Oh, there's a note. I will read this later. Thank you, Chris. Chris is from Canada. Oh, thank you, Chris, for sending this. I'll read it later, Chris. Uh, I won't read it for everyone. Okay. We got through one layer out here. Hold on. Uh, what could this be? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is amazing wow okay that is cool so i don't own one of these in fact i will pull down hold on let me get it okay so hanging just above me in the studio are my saws and uh, some vice grips and yes my running medals now these are not all of them these are mostly from the past maybe two years and so chris from canada sent me a metal hanger that says yes seek beauty work hard and love each other. Can you see that? So I don't know if it's, I think, I think I peel off. I don't know exactly. I got to read what he wrote in the letter, but it looks like I can peel off the brown and maybe stick it on the wall or somehow attach it to the wall so I can basically hang my medals on here. Shout out to Chris. Thank you so much. Oh, this is definitely going up in the studio. Thank you, thank you. It's, look at that. I just lost I just lost a, uh, a metal off of my hanger, so I need this. That is amazing, Chris. Oh, my, how, that is like some craftsmanship right there. Crafts, I don't know how you did that, but that is so, so cool. Okay, we're diving into some projects here in the studio. Uh, I'm gonna try and finish off the restoration of the studio today. Let's go. Gotta move the power, power strips. Welcome to the machine. Test one, two, three. Test one, two, three. Test test. We're gonna stop there. Ah, oh, it's hard. I don't, oh, I just, I gotta, I gotta let it sit for a day or two to see if I like this configuration. I don't think I like this shelf directly behind me as I'm standing in here. So I think this is gonna end up moving. Uh, but I kind of like how these are offset 
and how the shoes are kind of at different levels. So I'm liking this, but I'm not going to screw them into the wall yet. Uh, I'm just going to let it sit, like I said, for a couple of days. All right, let's go inside, talk to True Love about this marathon and about pinching pennies as well. All right, here we go. All right, True Love, it's time to announce. You come sit. Okay. You come sit right there. We're, okay. we're announcing. Let me just make sure we're good to go here. Uh-huh. So, yeah, you just scoot right on close there. Uh, basically, they don't know yet. Oh. They don't know yet. Oh. We are announcing the marathon, and um, a lot of different factors went into this decision. The most important is timeline for training. Yeah. Remember Cleveland, the training block was a little too long. So okay. I'm remember that? Yeah. yeah and yeah, I ended yeah. up with the injury. So therefore I've decided to cut back the training block by two weeks. Okay. And also, okay, one last thing is I did not get in, I did not hear back from Boston. You know, it was yeah. a it was a long shot. It was worth trying. I did not hear so I I will not be going to film the Boston Marathon. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, it just does it won't work out in the schedule. And twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. I'll be running. Yeah. Twenty twenty one. Okay. And then London. Um, I, w I had an opportunity to get into London if I, but actually, well, I thought I did, but I think I, I might have to be actually a, a, a British citizen. A citizen <laughs> to do it through a chair. Who do we know? To do, <laughs> yeah. Who do we know in the UK government? My dad has Irish citizen, Ireland citizen. Oh, yep. there we go. Okay. So we've got options. Well, but, but they're kind of a, yeah. No, they okay, that's right. Yeah. No. yeah. <laughs> so, bottom line, it is going to be, drum roll, 2020 Spring Marathon. Hamburg, Hamburg, Germany. We're coming for you. So not Prague. I apologize, but Prague will be. Who knows? Maybe um, I don't know when. Maybe 2022. I'm glad it's not Praha because we want to go. Yeah, she I'm, wants I don't, to go. I can't travel right now. So the reason it's Hamburg is because therefore I can race on. It's the 19th Sunday, I believe, the yeah. 19th, and then I can rest and just chill out yeah. and go film the London Marathon. So I'm gonna go Denver to Hamburg. Yep. Uh, Denver, well, yeah, Denver to Hamburg, Hamburg to London, yep. London to Denver yeah. um, is the game plan. Um, I think it's brilliant because then when you're filming London, you won't hold back anything. You're not gonna be thinking, oh, something's coming up. It'll be in the past. When I, I think that's smart. When I film a race, He's like, all in. I'm all in. Yeah. It's like, it's not only physically draining, it's mentally draining because I am on and I'm trying to get the shots, the angles. He it, sees things other people don't see. Filming the Kipchoge race, it was it was a lot of work before mm. Amsterdam. And so yeah. now I get a film the week before London and I, my race will be done and then I can just chill. We can go get some uh, fish and chips oh, yeah. and some, a, pint? So, a, a, well, a good pint. Over, pint of tea? Yeah. No, a pint. The race will be done. Okay. A oh, oh, yeah. A pint oh, yeah, uh, in London with all of you. Oh, so. that's then a group run. Oh, yeah. We'll do a group run. We'll do a group run in Hamburg and in uh, and in London. So I guess, what are your recommendations for the fastest, mm. a hotel with the fastest internet in and near the London Marathon? Is yes. that smart? We need fast Wi-Fi. Yeah. Really fast Wi-Fi for the video production. Yeah. So, there it is. Mm, Hamburg. Hamburg, Germany. I'll break down in the studio a little bit later some more details as to why that race as well. A little more into the course and everything. Oh. All right. I hear Michael. Okay, so why don't I go look at tickets? All right, let's do this. Hi, right. boom. And break. <laughs> break. Money. Oh, hold on, that was perfect. Perfect. Oh, yeah. There we go. True Love's excited. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Hamburg, Germany. We're coming for you. And again, what it comes down to is having fresh legs, for my race rather than fresh legs for let's say uh filming in london i'd rather race my marathon get it in the rear view mirror and then go enjoy london and enjoy watching the race of the century the kale versus kipchoge which i just uh i had it in my gut that they were gonna meet in london for some reason i think time is of the essence for both of them especially the and i was like you know what this is the year so that's why i did not register for prague i was just waiting to see will what what will they do and sure enough they're gonna meet in london which means 
I'm going to go to Hamburg. And again, that sh it's just a slightly, it's a two week shortened uh, training block, which for me is perfect because I respond, my body after training for, you know, decades now, I know how long it takes for my body to get in shape. And it's just that 13 to 14 week window right now. That's just spot on for me. Actually, here we go. Here's the graph with the volume that we talked about a couple days ago. So now this is it. This is it for, for Hamburg. This is what I'll be using for my ascent to my peak volume of training. And I should mention the Hamburg Marathon. It's a gold label, a world athletics race. All right, so gold label, the highest you can go. Um, it, it starts, well, I already looked, it starts at 9.30 a.m. April 19th, Sunday, April 19th. Based on the reviews from everyone that, uh, I think it's marathon, marathonguide.com or marathonguide.net, uh, all the reviews that people have written about this marathon, they say it's incredibly beautiful, picturesque, uh, great crowd support. Uh, not as big, obviously, as let's say in New York or Chicago or London, but pretty solid uh, crowd support because you really, you pretty much stay kind of right in the main area of the city. You, it's a, uh, well, actually, I'll, I'll try and find a map and I'll put it on the screen right now. And so there you go. It just kind of weaves around the city, kind of up and down the river. I actually don't, I feel a little bad. Is it the Rhine River? I don't even know what river it is that goes through Hamburg. And uh, so there you go. And also, I researched, and it's, I think this is kind of neat, mentally, they put a blue line right on the road, like a blue line. So you, as a runner, for me, like there were maybe, I think there was one moment in Amsterdam where I was like, wait a minute, which direction do I go? And so in Hamburg, it's just, just follow the blue line. Like no matter what, follow that blue line the entire way. So they paint a blue line all 26 0.2 miles through the streets of Hamburg. Two more points. It is the largest spring marathon in Germany. And then also, um, oh yeah, this is amazing. And this is why I'm just so excited. I can already tell. I'm a big, big a fan of solid organization. I don't like to show up to events that you just like, wait a minute, who's in charge here? True Love and I, we always, sometimes we show up at like, I don't know, even like weddings. And we're like, who's in charge here? Like, where's the MC? Where's the directions? We just like to have direction in our life. And so I can tell Hamburg is organized because I emailed them through, you know, the contact form. You can click contact and you email like I did with Boston. Never heard back. Uh, but you, you get a contact form and you you set, you set submit your email, your subject line, and then the, the content of the email and you send it and you never hear back, it feels like, for me. Like, I never hear back, but sure enough, I heard back from Hamburg asking, could I receive a, basically, um, not an elite, but a sub-elite entry into the race? And they said yes, because I've run under 225, which happened in, well, in New York and also in Amsterdam. So it was amazing. I heard back from them within like 24 hours via email. And so I can tell they're organized, I'm excited, and what else I was going to say. So then from Hamburg, I'll fly right to London, probably Tuesday, maybe Wednesday. So I'll have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So five days in London. We'll definitely obviously do a group run. Actually, this is a big deal. Okay, question of the day. What do I need to know about the Hamburg Marathon for those who have raced Hamburg? That's not option number one. Option number two, what? Uh, should I bring this up now? Yes. What park run should I do in London on Saturday? Okay, before I think park runs happen on Saturday, correct me if I'm wrong. I've never done a park run. What park run should I do on Saturday in London before Sunday, the race on Sunday? Okay, so that's the question of the day. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. I think that's it. We're going to call it there. Thank you for being here. Thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate you. Appreciate your support. Appreciate your wisdom down in the comments for the question of the days because I'm going to lean into your experience at both of these uh, events, both in Hamburg and in London. All right, there you go. We're tossing it back on the right to the New York City Marathon vlog that'll be on the right. And then on the left will be the Amsterdam Marathon vlog that'll be on the left. Okay, everyone, seek beauty, work hard, and love each other. See you tomorrow.